Hello and welcome back. It's time for a brew and a bite. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is an entirely new format where I will be, at least once a week for the foreseeable future, teaming up a brew, normally a beer, but could be tea, I guess, or, or something similar, and a bite to eat at the same time. Um, this absolutely was not planned to be my first video for this series, but sometimes fate takes us that way, and this is where we end up. So today's brew is from Lincoln Green. It's called Butter Much. I've been trying to get hold of one of these beers in a bottle for on and off the best part of, I think, four years. So um, I'm very excited to finally have it. I'm sure Lincoln Green will tell me that they've been producing it for the majority of those four years, and I've just been unlucky every time I've gone in search for it. But I'll tell you a bit more backstory about that in a moment. And over here, we have a mystery donut from Project D. Now, as I said, this video was not expected to be my first in this series. And the reason that it is, is simply that my lovely other half came home earlier. In her hand was this box of Project D donuts, and in it, this for me. As you've seen in some of the footage earlier, it has a massive hunk of chocolate on top. It looks like a flake or something. There might even be some caramel in there actually, so maybe it's something different, but we'll find out exactly what this is when we break into it. I had a look on their website and I actually could not find what this was, so hopefully you'll be able to tell from taste and you'll be able to find it in the future should you want to order one. I just want to say the point of this video format is to highlight some of the great products and the companies in the local area. So Lincoln Green, uh, up towards Nussel, I think, despite the name, is a Nottinghamshire brewery, and Project D, awkwardly, it's from Derby, but I guess I'm on that side of town, so it's also kind of local, but we will not rib them for where they came from, we will rib them on the quality of their donuts, which by the look of it, they won't get much ribbing at all, a lot of praise I think is due there. Quick thing about each company before we start, Lincoln Green describes himself on their website as uh, having taken their name from the colour of dyed woolen cloth worn by the legendary Robin Hood. So completely in keeping with the Nottingham theme. Robin Hood, well known for championing the rights of everyday working folk, and like Robin Hood, Lincoln Green believe in putting people at the heart of everything that they do. Um, quality and consistency are their two most cherished attributes, and I hope that's the, the case because I first tried this, as I say, around four years ago at the Nottingham Beer Festival, which is again why I'm using my Nottingham Beer Festival glass to sample this, and it's simply fantastic. I don't need to try it to tell you that, but I'm excited to get into it again, and I think it's a sweet beer and will pair incredibly well with what looks like a pretty ginormous dessert. So, um, yeah, super excited about that, and I hope it's just as good as I remember it. Um, I had it at subsequent beer festivals on a couple of occasions, although it does tend to sell out pretty quickly at the Nottingham Beer Festival in my experience, which is why I've been looking for it in bottles for some time. On to Project D, as I said, they are a Derby-based firm. Uh, on their website, they claim that they have been looking for the perfect donut recipe, traveling around the globe to find the perfect recipe for some years, and they have now found it. Now, they've got some stiff competition. There is a well-known Nottingham Donut Institution called Donuts, which also had a store in Derby, and which unfortunately closed for some reason. I don't know whether Project D had a hand in that or not. I wouldn't like to comment, because I really don't know, and I have genuinely never had a Project D donut before. However, I have had a lot of donuts, 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 and they are really, I mean, they make Krispy Kreme look subpar, so stiff competition, but, Everything I've seen so far, the donuts are slightly bigger and I mean, it just looks incredible. So the proof will quite literally be in the pudding. Let's get this open. Quick look at the bottle before we get this open. Nice gold label described as butterscotch, malt and smooth. I mean, if you want to sell me a beer, chuck those words on it. Five and a half percent brewed in Nottingham. Sweet, bitter and Moorish butterscotch sweetness is balanced by hot bitterness in this Moorish smooth dark ale. I mean, they're ticking all the boxes for me. I hope this is in bottled condition because I've just thrown that around quite a lot now, but it doesn't say so. Oh, it's everything I remember. It's got such a sweet nose on it. And it's incredibly sweet, but just enough bitterness to balance it. It doesn't feel, well, like I suspect that's going to. It's. It's like Trudy Ring Sweet on the tongue, and then it gets cooked clean, which means, inevitably, you want some more. 
nut really is a class A or that, and I was I was kind of worried about what to pair it with food wise, because really something sweet is what it's naturally drawn towards, and I was running out of ideas for sweet goods to do. So hey, this is a happy coincidence, right? I'm gonna move the Project D box just to the side here so we can get a good look at this. Mm. Now, I strongly suspect knowing the amount of sugar in this is not in your best interest, so uh, let's not think about that and just try and divulge what's going on here. I'm gonna leave that stuck on the top for now and just go in with a bite. Smell-wise, interesting, the smells actually on a million miles apart and I suspect there's some butterscotch or butterscotch style um, icing on here, so this could be a really good matchup. up um, There is obviously this smooth butterscotch or caramel on this side, and then this side is uh, the same stuff, but with some kind of uh, cake, crumb, and uh, chocolate drizzled over the top. I don't know, the scent is quite smooth, so I suspect that's buttercream, and I say we'll find out what that chocolate finger is in a moment. I'm gonna go for a bite right down the middle. That's really good. The top is insanely sweet, but actually the donut, I don't think there's that much sweetness in the donut itself, which I'm thankful for. Um, that balances really well. So I've eaten more of the butterscotch side. Let's come back over here for this cake crumb bit. Personally, I prefer the cake crumb side. I think it masks some of the direct sweetness of that butterscotch or, or caramel topping. Um, but that's really good. I'm not gonna start this first video in this series, reviewing a product and immediately comparing it to its main competitor, there's not much in it. And to be honest, I wouldn't even like to draw a conclusion from this video having not eaten the competitor's product in quite a few months. So, look, let's just say, if you find one and go buy it, you won't be disappointed. What is the cream on top? It is buttercream. Surprisingly, also less sweet than I thought it might be. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's silly sweet, but, I had a horrible feeling it was going to be worse. Um, now what is this finger? I'll show you that. I'm sure someone out there already knows what this is. It's definitely got a line of caramel through it. Um, oh, I think this is half a Mars bar. Yeah. This is a cross section of a Mars bar. Mm. I've not had a Mars bar for I don't know where. Couple of years at least. Really happy about that. Mars bar is one of those chocolate bars for me where I never choose to buy it because I always prefer something else. But when given one, really hits the nail. Mm. That beer matches. So I always find it really difficult to match beers to desserts, but that one, straight out. Just no, there's no conflict. I'm sure, it's got a bit of a bitter aftertaste, but to be honest, it kind of just cleans away the rest of the sweetness. You all know what a Mars bar tastes like, so let's leave that off for now before I get too carried away. I feel like this is going to get become quite a messy series. I'm just going to come back and talk about the beer again for a minute because, as I said, I've been looking forward to this moment for quite some time, and um, I bought four of these. This is the first one. I'm sharing my first revisiting with you, and I really can't sing its praises highly enough. If you like malt beer and you like sweet beer, this is just... Absolutely on, on the money. Let's get some more in there. Let's give it a look at smell notes. I mean, my uh, my ability to smell has probably been completely corrupted by having already drunk that and eaten some of that, but it smells like a Malteser cake. That's the that's all you need to know. It smells like if you made a, a cake out of Maltesers with some butterscotch, that's what this smells like. Simply sublime. Lincoln Green's one of those breweries I've known about for quite a while thanks to the beer festival, but with the exception of the beer festival, it doesn't tend to rock up in any place. I noticed on their website, they do have a section about their pubs. Now, whether they're pubs that they own or just pubs that they supply to, I'm, I'm not sure, but I really would like to see it in more places because everything I've tried is, is really top notch, but that's the best by a long, long way. I have no previous experience of Project Donut or Project D, whichever they prefer. Um, so I can't really give you any, any backstory, but um, I can tell you that I do like donuts. And I do like sweet donuts, and this is really a really good sweet donut. Mm -mm. I just got to bit to the bit with the um, 
the central cream and it's um it's really delightful i always worry and i think this concern stems from eating crispy creams years ago that when people try to go to town on a donut they'll just put layer upon layer of sweet sickly syrups and toppings to try and look impressive but the reality but the reality of that is it's just too, too sweet to enjoy after about three bites this is super well balanced the donut is crazy thick and because of that and because the let's try some of this on its own actually to just prove now i'm sure if you ate that on its own without having touched anything else you would say it was a bit sweet but having just tried it on its own now there's really not much sugar in the donut itself i don't think it's all in the topping but that's perfect because balance is what makes a really good product i'd really like to see some companies like these starting to do some collaborations and, and fusion offerings because i mean imagine the malt knowledge that a brewer like Lincoln Green has and how that could be applied to some flavoured donut, some flavoured doughs or donut toppings from the likes of Project D and you could end up with a beer and donut combo that are just, I mean these to be honest, these two, if you told me these were made in conjunction to taste fantastic together then I wouldn't argue it, I'd go yeah that clearly tastes a bit like that and Because that is effectively liquid cake and well it's a donut but it is a cake really right oh this series is off to a great start for me i knew that beer was going to be absolutely tip top before i even opened the bottle and i'll be honest i was apprehensive about project d having such high expectations from my previous experiences from other vendors i was worried that maybe they were going to be a little bit below standard but they really aren't they are on top of their game go check out project d Go check out Lincoln Green, and if you want to have a really good time, smash them together because I'm having a lovely evening. Thank you very much for watching. That's all for this video. Please like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you would be so kind, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.